What's up? What's going on, guys? Joe here, Radio 690 ADV, 690ADV.com. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for being part of the podcast. Um, today, we're going to dig into uh, summer writing and some tips and things that you need to think of uh, because it is the end of July <laughs> and it's August. It is not cold outside, especially where I'm at in Texas, anywhere in the southern states if you ride if you're not at elevation at all times and you want to ride one thing that you definitely want to pay attention to when you're riding, you know, you hear about all the at gat and all that stuff. I just, you know, I don't want to get into that. That's is a absolute frustrating, uh, topic for me. I don't want to, I just, I'm going to leave that one alone. Okay. Anyway, uh, thanks for stopping in. This is our video podcast segment on Thursday. Uh, thank you for stopping in. Don't forget, uh, hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, be part of it. Don't forget, go to 69080v.com, sign up, get your free decal. Don't forget, we've got a giveaway. I need to <laughs> kind of bring this out. This Saturday is supposed to be our giveaway on the 27th. That is going to have to be postponed. I'm going to mention it again tomorrow night on our Friday Rant and Ride. It is going to be the following Saturday. Reason being, um, yeah, I got some fun that just kind of popped up. I can get away. I'm going to go get some dirt for the weekend. So I'm sorry. I hope you understand, but I'm going riding and I'm going to get out and I'm going to get in it and have some fun. Uh, I kind of need it. So it's been, been pretty crazy, but the, uh, YouTube channel, the podcasting and with work too. Uh, I own my own company, so <laughs> it's been a little hectic lately. So I, I need a little bit of a getaway getaway. So I hope everybody's okay. And they're, uh, not going to lynch me too hard, but, uh, the giveaway is going to come after my happiness. So, uh, don't forget it will be the following Saturday. I don't know exactly what day that is. I'll mention the, the day, uh, on the rant and ride tomorrow night at 9 PM, but it is happening. It's coming just the, the, the following Saturday. I've got some fun stuff coming up and I'm going to be shooting video. It's going to be with another YouTuber and we're going to get away. We're headed up into Arkansas. So it's going to be really, really cool. Like I said, you can catch us on uh, iTunes, Google Podcasts, Spreaker, Spotify, pretty much everything. And uh, Thanks for stopping in and listening in. Anyway, summer weather and writing, you know, is one of those things, you know, I'm definitely, I'm an avid person for putting on, you know, your jacket and your gloves and definitely a helmet if you're going to be out and you're going to be hitting the streets and stuff like that or going off road. Uh, but this time of the year in the Southern States, depending on where you live, I live in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, uh, guys that live down South, even further, it's, it's a hundred degrees here now and it's not cold. <laughs> and when you're riding a bike, you know, if you're new to riding, or if you're just getting into writing and you're catching this podcast or our videos and stuff like that with these little things to think about, uh, hydration, you know, you really, really want to be hydrated. You definitely want to take care of your body and you definitely want to be smart about it. The key thing to hydration and things that you want to keep in mind is when you start getting dehydrated, if you start to feel it, it's too late. Just give you a heads up. So if you know that you're going to go riding, here's what I suggest. Uh, it's worked for me for years. It works for guys that work for me. We're in the sign and graphic industry. We do a lot of outside work in the heat. Uh, we don't get in the, you know, we're out in the sun and, and also ride out in it too. But the things that we do at work, it definitely helps. If you prep your body before you go, it makes a huge, huge difference in how your body's going to feel and how your body's going to react throughout the day. So what we like to do is we like to do like a pre-prep 32 to probably 48, 60 ounces of water while I'm inside before I ever even get on the bike or while I'm in the shade or before I'm going to do anything or any type of activities before I put my jacket on, before I put on my pants, my boots, any of that type of stuff. And especially the helmet, because remember that it's just like in the winter time, 60 to 70% of all your heat goes out of one place, your head. <laughs> so when it comes up through your head and guess what, it's going into that helmet. Yeah, it's called helmet head. It gets super, super hot. And you just definitely want to be prepared and prepped before you do anything. So as that heat is rising and whatever, you know, and your body's sweating, if you are already 
working towards hydration before you're doing any energy or exercise, I'm telling you, it, it, it totally works great. Camelbacks, Camelbacks are fantastic or hydration packs that you wear. They look like backpacks. Summertime, get one, wear one, make sure it's got water in it. Don't get it too cold. You don't want to drink tons and tons and tons of cold water. That is the biggest misconception on the planet that people say, you know, chug it up, fill your body up with cold, cold water. It's not good because what happens is if it's super, super cold, people think that it's going to bring your core temperature down. But in all reality, your body has to work harder to process that. So you're using more energy. So your body's actually truly working harder. I like to say not freezing cold, but cool. Okay. If you can keep it cool, that's way, way better on your body because your body can process it better. It goes through the system and your body's not going to have to overwork to process it. That's why when you're working out, they say drink cold water because you'll burn more calories. There's a reason behind that. But if you're out riding around and you're trying to keep hydrated and moving at the same time, granted it is a workout riding your motorcycle, but it's, it's, different. It's not going to the gym. It's, it's different. The gym, you get done, you go sit in your car, you cool down in your AC. You could be on a frying pan run. If you don't know what a frying pan is, basically we call the frying pan is when we're, we dip down in between two valleys when we do our moto trips and it's what it is. It's a frying pan. And those frying pans could be up to 50, 70, a hundred miles across between ranges and it's hot. And if you've got to pull over, you know, even though that cold water feels good, the problem is, is if you drink too much of it, it makes you sick. So you just definitely, and you don't want to over drink too much. Take in, you know, in moderations. It, like I said, if you're starting to feel headaches, fatigue, uh, dizziness, nausea, it's too late. What you've got to do is you need to find shade. You need to sit down and you need to sip water, not chug water. It's, it's, it, 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 you do not want to do that. This is not a, a tip to how to get you. Basically what I'm saying is, is we're trying to do preventative, uh, maintenance on your body <laughs> so that you don't get to that point. That is kind of the big kicker. So, um, preventative, start drinking water before you start riding. And I don't mean get a belly full and fill yourself up. What I'm saying is, is get enough in because what happens is, is you're going to start sweating in your jacket, in your pants, in your boots. And then you want to sip water. Those hydration packs, they have the big pull around tubes. You can put them up in your helmet, get you a couple of swigs. And that's what you want to do. You want to sip on it. You want to get ahead of the game. That's the ticket. So really what it is, is hydration, just being real, real smart, especially in these summertime days, you know, all the way up until the end of August into mid September, especially if you're in the Southern States, if you're in the Florida, all the way to Arizona, even into Southern California, you just want to be safe on that. And sometimes you could be up in Cal- uh, Colorado in those areas and you're in low elevation and it gets pretty toasty. So, you know, preventative maintenance to, to make your uh, rides a whole lot better and to get yourself to where you don't get yourself in a pickle and get yourself hurting. I've mentioned it before. Uh, if you do get to the point where you are fatigued and, and you did kind of and screwed the pooch to say you didn't quite prepare yourself, you know, and you are running and you're running a little low. Um, I don't necessarily say go jump on a power aid or a Gatorade or those work, but you definitely want to sip those because of the electrolytes and stuff that are in there. But there's also like sugars and stuff in there that make it, it, it's just going to make you, it it will help over time. If you're done writing, I say a Gatorade, but if you've got more writing to do, uh, if you can find, like I said, a dollar general, a Walmart, uh, any type of uh, grocery store, Uh, go to the uh, section for children. And I've said it once. I think I did it in another video or a podcast, Pedialyte. And I'm telling you right now, I don't want to dig too deep into that. This is not a Pedialyte commercial, but Pedialyte, I'm telling you right now, or if you just want to pack sub it for a just in caser, Pedialyte tastes awful. And I mean awful. There's nothing delicious about it. But what it does (laughs) it gets you back, man. I'm telling you, it's disgusting. It tastes awful. It's not delicious. I had a buddy of mine tell me to try the grape and it's much better than the orange. I, 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 
I've never had the grapes. I'm going to try it next time. But there are times, even with us, you know, we're out riding and we get behind the game and we try, but it just, it's so hot, you know, when you're in the desert that, you know, you basically, that's the rule, hydrate or perish. That's what it is. So uh, we find a, uh, a Pedialyte and me and Storymoto, my buddy, we'll, we'll split a Pedialyte. Man, I tell you what, it is disgusting and you feel bad, but I'll tell you what, in 30 minutes after you're done, Pa-ching, you're like a new dude. <laughs> you're like a new dude. You're totally new. And then you start pushing the water in, you know, slow rolling your water in. And man, you can just go, go, go. It just, it's like it changes your whole world. Uh, and I definitely recommend that over doing uh, Gatorades and some of those other, you know, uh, electrolyte drinks and, and things when you're on the road with a motorcycle. So more of the story is uh, get ahead of the game, not behind the game. If you're behind the game, playing catch up for hydration and dehydration is uh it's it's a it's a you know it's it's a it's a tippy scale so i just say pay attention be smart and get ahead start drinking water when you get up if you're out motoing and you are adventure riding and you're camping start drinking water after you have your coffee if you drink coffee in the morning which i do because i love it but if you start getting that water and don't overdo it don't drink like a gallon of water before you hit the road thinking that that's going to be the trick for you that's it's, it's, it's the thing is there is such thing as too much water so so just make sure that you get in a good amount somewhere between, I'd say, 16, 32, somewhere around there, I'd like two bottles of water. You know, those two bottles of water that you would pick up at a, a convenience store or something like that. If you can get that amount in before you go and hit the road. I'm telling you, it'll make a huge, huge difference. So I hope this helps somebody out, just even if it helps one person. Uh, I've done my job, and I think it's fantastic. But hydration, be smart, be ahead of the game. It's summer, it's hot, guys, and real adventure riders don't care if it's raining, if it's hot, if it's sleeting, or it's snowing. They still ride. So uh, just make sure that uh, you stay hydrated and uh, get out and ride and find your adventure. Thanks for stopping in. Remember, podcasts are Thursdays and Sundays. Tips are on Tuesdays and Fridays with our rant rides. And uh, don't forget, giveaway is going to be one Saturday later. It's still on, still going to happen. It's just going to be one week later. Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate you. Radio 690 AV. I'm Joe. You guys have a great day. And hopefully this will help somebody out somewhere down the road. And uh, don't forget, smash subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. I appreciate you. You guys have a fantastic day. Thanks for stopping in.